Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Evernote series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week it's all about managing those big complex projects. Now a couple of weeks ago I did a video on managing those quick, simple, easy projects that are still need a little planning. But how do you manage bigger projects? Projects that take quite a bit of time, projects that have multiple different things coming at it and being involved in. Well, that's what I'm gonna show you this week. Now, before we go any further, if you do get any value from this video, then please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks, and news on using Evernote, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let me take you into my Evernote now, and I'm gonna show you how I manage complex projects. Okay, so in my last episode on managing projects in Evernote, I showed you just the basic simple project outline that you can use, which is to, and I'll just go into there now and show you, is to use a simple master master project list and then to have down here just the simple notes. <clears throat> now, what I really wanted to show you is how I actually manage like the bigger projects because obviously a single note might not be quite enough for some of those bigger projects. So what I wanted to do this week is show you how to do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my notebooks so you can see the basic setup. Now, I actually use Tiago Forte's Para system for organizing my notebooks and everything in Evernote. And what that basically means is we have three, or four different areas and it stands for Para. So first one is uh, projects, areas, resources, and archive. Now, of course, I have my inbox as well as my default collection bucket, but essentially I'm working on the para system. Now, when you look in Evernote, what it does is it organizes your notebooks by alphabet, and you can go over here, but you can only really, you can change it by title, so I can click on that. Um, but it, there you go, it does change it that way, but there isn't a way by actually doing it manually. So, you you're not going to be able to do it projects, areas of focus, resources, archives. You can do it by alphabet. Uh, you can do it, turn it upside down, but essentially that's the way it works. So I do use numbers there. As you can see, I've done some numbers in here, which will actually help you. You can actually do it that way. So what I really want to do in this week is just show you how I manage those more complex projects. So I have a project stack. And if I open that up, you can see that I have a simple projects folder here. That's essentially where I put my master projects list. That's in there. And also any of those little projects that don't need notebooks, just the simple, light, easy projects. Let's go into uh, more complex. Now, I showed you the house move as a single note last week. What I want to do now is show you really how I would actually manage this. So I've got the house move is at the top. And this is basically the details of the, the house move that we're going to be doing later next year. And in here, let's say I want to move to a city in Korea called Busan, which is down on the southeast coast. It's not actually where we want to move. That's a bit too far south. But here I've got a list of the real estate agents. And that's just a web clip that I can use just to go in and find English speaking real estate agents, if you like. So that's one way. Now, the another one that I want to do is the email mastery uh, project. Now, I actually use a project template for this, and I've shared this in previous videos. Now, essentially, my project template looks like this, and I have the deadline written up here, I have the purpose, I have my outline link. So, this will take me to the numbers file that has the outline of the course. The keynote file is the actual slides that I use in the course. So that's again a link that will take me directly to that file. I also have my timeline in here. So I've got week one, week two. It's a six week update. Most, most of my online courses, whenever I do them, takes about six weeks. So I've got week one, complete the outline. So I've got my planning, the screencast setup, because I have to set up the, the actual applications that I'm using, screencast recording in there, talking head recording, and then editing and launch in the final week. And then I keep my notes. Now this is again, this is just my demo account. So I have my notes in here. So this is the main note that I would actually be managing my project from. 
because that's where I can put all the stuff. But there are other things that I may want to keep in there. For example, here, I would like to keep the landing page of the actual current course. So I can go in and do the look at the landing page and say, all right, this needs altering, this needs changing. So I can do that directly from here. So I've got the link directly to that course again, so that this makes things just so much easier so I don't get pulled off track. So that's essentially how I actually manage my active projects. You'll see that in here I have the actual projects that I'm working on currently, usually in the current quarter. And then once they're done, they get moved off to archive or get deleted. Another way that I do this, by the way, though it's not this lesson isn't this video is not really about this is my areas of focus. If I if I go back into my notebooks and just drop that down, so we'll close the projects. The areas of focus, these are usually very, very personal, but they normally ar arrive around these areas. You'll see by the zeros that there's nothing in there because this is just my demo account, but this is how I structure my real Evernote. Obviously, there's a lot more in my real Evernote than here. So I have my business uh area of focus, education, that's my personal education, family, finances, health and fitness, hobbies and interests, self-development. There's others that you can put in there. You can put your spirituality in there. You can put all sorts of things in there. But that's essentially the basic structure that I would have or do have in my real Evernote account. Maybe I need to zoom in on that so you can see that a little bit better. So that's essentially the way that works. So I've got my projects. These are my active projects that I'm using right now uh, or will be doing in the current quarter. Uh, other projects that may come in there are probably going to be held inside my areas of focus until it's the right quarter. Although sometimes like the Time Sector book, for example, this is a, a, a course that... <clears throat> Uh, that I'm actually using. I'm, I currently haven't started this, so I haven't done the project outline for this yet, but that's something that will get done. And you can save all these. Sorry, I'll close that one, go back to notebooks. So I can save these uh, for whatever er whatever I want to do uh, as and when they need to be saved. So there you go. That's how I structure the more complex projects and my areas of focus. You can see that it's it's kind of nicely organized, very easy to get into. Links are in there as you can see from let's go into the email mastery course. Uh, links are very easy to go in there. The project outline, uh, I have actually create, I think I've shared this before, but I will create this and we'll share the project outline template with you so you can actually download that if you wish. Although I do recommend that you create your own project outlines because we're all different. We all do types, different types of projects. Most of mine is content creation, so it's quite easy, this, this kind of setup. But for you, it could be a sales campaign. It could be all sorts of things. So maybe you don't want to use this type of one. But I would recommend that you create yourself a project template using the template feature in Evernote, which I will cover in a future video. So there you go. Uh, by the way, if you're, you are curious right now and you think, no, no, I want to know now how to save this as a template. Well, essentially, you don't want to have all this writing in here. You have to keep that clear. But if you go to the three dots here, you will see somewhere in here, um, <laughs> not in here, but certainly in the app version, you can actually save it as a template. In here, it's not allowing me to do it. Normally, you just click the three in the app version and then it will say save as template but obviously it's not doing that in this one that's because i'm using the web version so there you go thank you very much for watching this episode and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week hello thank you very much for watching my videos now i have something exciting to tell you about recently i have developed a brand new time management system it's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use, easy to maintain, so that you can spend more of your time doing the work. And that's what the time sector system is all about. It's going to change your whole belief system about way the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when when you are going to do the task and let's be honest 
It doesn't matter how motivated, inspired, or how urgent something is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. And that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.